I come from a family of artists, but I wasn't such an artistic kid. Even from an early age, I wanted to be a scientist. Um, so, okay. I'm Anna Rothschild, and I'm about to tell a story. Here goes. I make Science Magic Show Hooray for the Washington Post, and I'm the creator of the YouTube show Gross Science. My family's always been really supportive of me, but that doesn't mean that they understood why I was interested in science. My mom teaches acting and directing at a university, and my dad is a musician. In the 80s, he actually released a New Wave album. It definitely seemed cool to be in the arts. Like, they all seemed cool, and I felt kind of like a dork. When I first got a job after college, I was studying lizard malaria. My dad called me up and was like, lizard malaria, huh? Is there like money in that? My response to him was like, you're a musician. Like, <laughs> where's the money in that? Like he couldn't understand why I would be so excited about studying malaria and lizards. Whereas I just thought it was the coolest thing. <laughs> Anyway, fast forward, and I ended up going to school for science journalism. And right after I graduated, I somehow managed to finagle a job as a production assistant at the PBS science show Nova. In the interview, my new employers told me that making videos would be a part of the job. And so I maybe exaggerated my video skills just a little bit. But when I got there, it turned out that making videos was the job. And I was in way over my head and totally freaked out. So I did a ton of tutorials on the internet, and I started to figure out how to edit and animate and got kind of okay at it. But at a certain point, I was watching all these videos that people I really admired had made, and I realized that my work could never live up to theirs. They were making unbelievably beautiful, rich animations, and I didn't even know where to begin. One day, I was so down about it that I went over to my mom's house and just burst into tears. I'm not an artist, I'll never be able to make beautiful animations. And my mom just looked at me and was like, have you even tried? And I was like, um, no. So that day we went to the art supply store and I bought watercolors and markers and some scissors to make collages and I just started practicing. And my work didn't look good. It usually didn't look anything like I wanted it to look like. But I started to notice that the things I liked most about my illustrations were the imperfections. Those were the parts of my work that made it really mine and gave it an authentic style. Every single time I try a new thing, I beat myself up a little bit about it. I don't think that it's a thing that you can ever totally grow out of. Like, I'm a perfectionist. I want everything to be perfect. But I guess the thing I've learned is that now I at least try. If you're worried about it, just go into a room alone, take a notepad or find some scissors and just start playing. Something, you know, beautiful and magical might, might come from it. And if you never try, you'll never know if, if you succeed at all. I still wouldn't call myself an artist, but I'm no longer afraid to flex my creativity and take a risk and see where it goes. And if I can do it, anyone can do it.